Thanks. We have a crime alert to tell you about tonight in St. Petersburg. Take a look here as this RV goes up in flames. Police say it is the work of two men who ultimately destroyed the RV. And tonight, St. Pete detectives hope that you recognize them. Our Jeff Butera is live at the auto accessory store in St. Pete tonight where this happened. Good evening, Jeff. Good evening, Jameson. It's also where the owner says he doesn't have any enemies. He doesn't have, think that there's anybody out there trying to do something bad against him. Yet earlier this month, someone came to the parking lot of his business where he keeps his RV. And as you can tell, tried to set the RV on fire. Leo Calzadillo owns several shops like Bad to the Bone Auto Accessories in St. Pete. He also owns an RV. Now, I've got several businesses, and I, and I try to use it to escape a little bit. Not anytime soon. Now, the RV's blackened, charred, an expensive, burned-up mess. It's a $100,000 RV, and the other side of the RV is completely gone. What remains is surveillance video of how it happened. On the night of December 16th, a man walks across Bad to the Bones parking lot, although you can't see his face. See if you can recognize his clothes, though. Then, just after that, on a different camera, you can see that man and another man douse the RV parked outside with liquid from a gas can. They set the RV on fire. Flames erupt. Smoke follows. Ultimately, the fire burns so hot, the heat causes the camera to malfunction. Calzadillo says he has no idea why someone would do this to his RV. But if our interview with him told us anything... It's that he wants to know. That's the main thing is I want to know why. Why was it done? I just want to find out who and why. The main question is why did they do it? I just, I just want to know why. And the St. Pete police want to know why as well. So if you recognize the people in the video, they'd like you to call their tip line at 727-892-5000. We'll give it to you again, 727-892-5000. The owner of the RV is also offering a $5,000 reward if these guys are caught. Live in St. Pete, I'm Jeff Butera, ABC Action News.